stand here. What I want you to do now is close your eyes and see what are the different colors that you see there. Green. Green. Why do you think that everything looks green? Grass is green and the trees, bushes are green. Leaves are green. So what I want you to do now is be explorers, nature explorers. So all of you will go around, pick each one of you will pick two leaves of different kinds. So did you have fun collecting leaves, all of you? Yes, ma'am. So how many of you have this kind of leaf with you? Just raise your hands. I want you to really look at this leaf and describe the leaf for me. Tall. Okay. Big. So I like the words that you're coming up with. So is there anything else about the leaf? Yes. Ma'am, it's in dark color. It is dark color. Which dark color is it? Dark green. Its leaves are zigzag. Some of you said that it is large, some of you said it's tall, some of you said it's big. What else? Huge. Oh, that's another word which she's saying, huge. Yeah. This one is comparatively huge. Yeah, this so this is huge, so what will this be? Sure. Anything else about the leaf? Yes. Ma'am, it has two colors. Can you show us how? <laughs> This one is uh, light green and this one is dark. <laughs> Lovely. That's a very good observation. Can we clap for her? Can you quickly feel the leaf and tell me? It is soft. So all of you touch all the all your leaves and see what are the different kinds of textures. It is hard. It is hard. Okay, let's put that up. It's very thin. Thick. Thick. So some of your leaves are thin while some of your leaves are thick. <laughs> Is there any other kind of? They are very smooth. Smooth. That's a nice word. Mom, it is dry. Why do you think it is dry? Mom, I'm touching it. Is this leaf dry? No. Some parts of this leaf dry? Yes. Do you know what is margin? Yes. Mom, it's the margin. So all of you know that the outer part of a leaf is called margin. Is that clear? Now I want you to look at your leaves and find out what kind of margins are there on your leaves. Curve. Curve. Okay. Is this curve? No. Oh, so you say that is curve. Ah, so there are curves on this. See, from the bottom of the leaf to the tip of the leaf, there are curves, small curves on the leaf. But this one doesn't have curve. What kind of margin is this? So this is a sharp, sharp margin. margin. Very nice. So I want all of you to look at the rose leaves and see. If you touch them, you will see that they can a little, they can prick you a little. So they are sharp margins. What are the different things up till now that we have described about the leaf? Color, sizes, margin, shape, material, uh, what's that smooth or material. That's very good. Can we clap for her? Other word for material? Um, texture. Texture. Give me a five five. <laughs> ah. Did you know that we can describe a leaf in so many ways? No. Huh? no Trees and plants have leaves which come in many different shapes, sizes, and colors. Some are needle shaped, while others can be heart shaped, oval, or even circular. They also have different patterns on their edges. Leaves can be sickle shaped, needle shaped, circular, diamond shaped, oval, palm shaped, heart shaped, leaflet shaped or heart shaped with a point. Leaves can have different textures too. Some are smooth while others are rough. They may have different shades of green and may even be differently colored. Some leaves can be identified by their special aroma or smell, like mint leaves. Why do plants have different kinds of leaves? So since we have so many words on the 
board and so many different ways to describe a leaf what we are going to do is we are going to choose some words each group i'm going to give you a card like this you have to pick two leaves of different kind after pasting the leaf you have to observe look at the leaf see in your card to describe I'm going to give you another kind of leaf. Rub it on your palm yes. and then smell it. And tell me whether it has smell or no. Everybody is completed. Can anybody tell me what are the different kinds of ways you have described the leaf? Oval. Oval. Heart. Okay. Combination. Leaflets one after the other. number 1 i am dark green in color i have a heart shape touch my margin carefully as they are sharp teeth who am i choose it for house number 1 and paste it can i read the second one now yes ma'am i would live in house number 2 i am bottle green in color i have broad and oval shaped leaves but my edges are plain who am i can we move on to the third one i would live in house number 3 i am light green in color i also have a heart shape but my tip is a bit longer who am i now let's do the last one i would live in house number 4 I am light green in color. I have the same shape as your palm. My edges are toothed. Who am I? Done. Interestingly, the different shapes, colors, textures and margins of leaves help the plant or the tree to survive in their surroundings. The large leaves of the lotus are broad to enable the plant float in water. Some leaves have shiny surfaces to minimize water loss. Some can store food in water like onions, while some are large to get more sunlight to the plant. The leaves of a pitcher plant resemble the shape of a glass or bottle with a lid. kinds of leaves do you think the difference in the leaves helps the plant in any way make it beautiful it makes it look beautiful okay have you all seen a cactus plant yes indeed so here is a cactus plant do you think that the cactus plant has leaves this white white is leaves this white white thing are the leaves of cactus plant so what kind of leaves are they small 
Small leaves. Why do you think that the leaves are small? Okay, tell me, have you seen a tap in the uh, washroom? Yes. How much water does come out from a tap? Lots. Lots of water. Have you seen a shower in the washroom? Yes. So, how much water comes from each hole? Small Little. Yes, yes. So, if water has to come out from yeah. these leaves, how much water will come? Little. 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 This quality of the plant, of the leaf, helps the plant to live in a desert. So let's look at a picture. These are found in places where there is lots of snowfall. How do you think this kind of leaf shape helps the plant? Protect them from snow. How, how do they protect them from snow? The snow slap down from their strangles. Excellent. Can we again clap for her? The snow that falls on this tree, it melts and it falls down. So the roof is like this in the uh, areas where there yes. is uh, snowfall. Yes. So even the roof helps for the snow to fall and doesn't collect on the rooftop. Similarly, the, this kind of leaves help the snow to fall and not collect on the leaves. What do you learn from these examples that I gave you? Ma'am, we have learned that all the qualities of these leaves help the plants to live in that particular place. Excellent! Can we all give her a grand?